All right, guys. So last video, we got the crystal eye. Super important, and we are going to use that to, I don't know, we're gonna go back someplace and give it to the witch who was wanting it because she was screaming about how she couldn't see without her crystal eye. I'm kind of excited, if you couldn't tell, it's gonna be an exciting thing to do. And yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go do it. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, also, I should probably mention, um, this is a part of a series. It's um, Vote Plays. So we're playing through every Final Fantasy. Um, like, so this month is uh, Final Fantasy 1, Final Fantasy 2, and it's the Final Fantasy Forum, I should mention, not just Vote Plays. Um, but yeah, uh, we're going to play through Final Fantasies every month. Uh, next month is Final Fantasy 2. So we're like four days, four or five days away. So that's why we're pushing through this one. Um, this one was a little bit weird. We started halfway through the month. So that's why it's like, okay, it's kind of strange, but it's still very, very fun. And uh, also, I should mention, for people who do watch regularly, we equipped a Mithril Sword on Loft G, and he is even more of a G. Like, you didn't, you couldn't think that he could get more G-like, but he just, he surpassed everything you ever thought he could be. And now we're in a situation where I don't know where we're really going, but we gotta find uh, that lady's cave or whatever, or her house or whatever she lived. I believe it was in Corneria. I thought it was. Sharks are kind of a jerk, but as soon as Lop hits him, it's gonna be over. Wow, that was... I totally thought it would be over. <laughs> I believed it would be, guys. I believed. Okay, wait, what is... Have we been here before? Provoke it, right? Yep. Perfect. Which means, I believe she's... She's like at the northern part of somewhere, I believe. I thought, so I might be wrong. If she's here, I'm just gonna call myself a genius. Not really. But I've had really good luck lately. I found Astos pretty immediately. And if I find her pretty immediately, that'd be cool. To be fair, I did look up that I had to find Astos, so then I started looking, <laughs> because I was I was just by the prince, like, so I put the, the crown on his head, and he's good? Question mark? Let's see, we're in a situation where we're, fi we're fighting enemies right now that are very weak, so that's always okay, and I mean, we don't really have a risk of dying doing this. I feel like we have reached the part where it's a very fetch quest because I'm sure we're gonna go to her. She's gonna give us something that we're gonna give to someone else, and then we gotta give that thing to someone. Like I know, I've been down this road before. Not there. That makes me worry because I don't know where it is. Get out of my way, goblin man. She wasn't in Cornelia, was she? She or Corneria or whatever they call it. It's Cornelia, I believe, but I don't I don't exactly remember where I found her. I found her very early on, so I think she is in Cornelia rather than Provoca. It's just gonna be annoying getting in random battles a bunch, but it's gonna be useful because we wanna get experience. Oh, that's a lizard. That looks like- that does not look like a healthy thing to fight. I'm gonna quickly go through the forest here. And I'm gonna kind of explore this continent in general, and see if there's a way we can just, uh, find it here. Because I know Provoca links to Cornelia because we didn't have the ship until we got Provoca. That's where we fought the pirates and everything and that's where we got the ship. So we're on the right continent. I can I can guarantee that I feel. <laughs> I like that. We're right we're on the right continent guys. So um yeah we're we're on the right continent that's for sure. That's totally not very vague. <laughs> 
And the good thing here is more experience and more importantly more gill because we spent all our gill um, on our mythical sword over there, which was a great purchase I would say, but is all our gill. <laughs> I could have sworn she was in north, so we're gonna keep on going north and we're gonna see what we can do here. Yeah, instant death. And we do have um, some antidotes in case some poison enemies decide to be cool. Perfect. Yeah, the werewolf is the one that can poison, I believe. And that's going to be what we want to avoid. I think it can poison. I honestly... I never remember, but... I'm, I mean, green enemies, they kind of make it pretty obvious. Where it's like, oh, that thing's green. It will poison you. I think this is going to become like a mini-series. The search for Crystal Eye Lady. Where we search for Crystal Eye Lady. here which means more enemies it seems that enemies encounter more in the forest I might be crazy but I'm pretty sure that's true and I'm gonna try to end it obviously very quickly with a fire spell to everyone I'm hoping it's sticky attack next so then um, never mind I was gonna say so everyone else can pick off the rest but he'll probably attack last yeah there it is should maybe attack kill everything though I mean yeah that's it It's kind of a waste of MP, but it's still a good attack. Okay, so not up there. We're just kind of going to the right now and seeing what we can find. Obviously, Sticky and all my uh, people except for Loft G are in kind of a bad situation. I'm going to use a lot of arena spells here. Mostly because I can always go to another area, rest up, and then just get the uh, MP back. I mean, this is this is about speed. I doubt I'm gonna encounter any enemies. That actually, what if, what if the lady attacks me? That's actually a point. If if Crystal Eye Lady attacks me, I will beat the shit out of her. But I might not have the spells to do it. So we'll probably save that last arena spell, but. Um, but yeah, I don't, she seems like a bro, so maybe not, but you never know with people. <laughs> Astos looks like a completely normal person sitting in a terrifying castle, because, you know, that was definitely not suspicious, but, uh, yeah. See, I believe these ones can't paralyze, so that's something to keep in mind. Hopefully Iqbal attacks next, but no, uh, Loft G will attack with his crazy sword. It's not all bad though, because um, if we get Warwick with a pretty good hit, then we should be able to end it. Damn, he's just not letting it end. He's just... Good thing is Loft is not paralyzed. Seriously, everything I said happened. That was that was a curse. I should have just said, thankfully I don't have a million dollars, and then I just, like, win the game or something. I don't know. We're getting quite a bit of a uh, gill, though. I mean, the experience gain is nothing as much as, to, like, compared to the gill we're getting. And we still have quite a few potions, I believe. I think we have, like, 30 still, do we? I should actually check before I'm just like, oh, we totally had that much, and then realize we're screwed. <laughs> Very important thing to keep in mind, we will need to heal our white mage. If we don't, we're pulling out immediately, because 
that's a huge portion of our healing abilities, is the White Mage. Twenty potions. That's still good. It's very good, actually. So if we go east, I feel like we're about to reach Cornelia. Oh no, we're not. <laughs> this is interesting, because I don't even know if we've been in this section of the map, honestly. We haven't, and there was a reason, because it's pointless. Dang it. Um, we might have gone too far east, or right, or whatever you want to call it. So we're going to have to continue our search for Crystal Eye Lady. Um, ideally we would start at Cornelia, because I think that's, she's right next there. Next to that, I believe, but we're, uh, we're gonna walk somewhere, that's for sure. As always, attacking Lofty, but that's not too bad, because he's a monster. Did we go north already? I think we did. It's kind of good when we're facing only one enemy here because Loth has a really good sword now so he can just take him out real easy. Sticky of course needs some assistance there. Yeah we definitely, um, we definitely went north. Seems like Sticky's getting a lot of hate with the enemies. But we'll have to go a little bit more west and see what we can find. And throughout all this, I guess we're getting experience and stuff, but I'd like to find the Crystal Eye Lady so she can see again. She seems to be panicking just a little bit. Oh man, and Iqbal's getting the hate now that we uh, healed Sticky up, it looks like. the idea of using it, but I don't like the idea of attacking all these people. Just brutally over for him. Yeah, that's why. I saw that the idea of poison was a bad idea, so I kind of wanted to avoid that. Obviously, I couldn't avoid it all the way, but I mean, one antidote is not going to kill us. Loft G gained a level. That is unnecessary. He is already a brutal monster when it comes to fighting. I don't know. I feel like I've uh, made a mistake here. I should maybe use the boat to explore more, but I feel like I'm on the right continent. I don't, I don't necessarily see the like point to that. Let's go west and see what we can find. Crazy horse, that's very good because in Cornelia we found a lot of these guys, so it's needs more close. working to level. That's good. 30 experience is insane. Or 30 HP, I mean. 30 experience? That's like a lot. No, it's not. Um, this is weird, though. So maybe it's more west? Because we are definitely encountering enemies that we don't normally encounter. Three hits is crazy. That's... He's probably just gonna keep on stacking on those um, hits and then eventually just be a monster. One damage. The oh four. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to end this video pretty soon because we're reaching the 15 minute mark. But I do want to comment that uh, Ludacris Ginger may have been right when he said that monk, the monk becomes crazy because four hit is kind of insane. That's actually that's brutal. I don't understand this. I don't understand why he's so aggressive.
Look at that. 100 damage when the warrior is still doing 102. Anyways, um, that's actually going to be the end of the video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we're going to continue our search in the next video, which is going to be in a few seconds, actually. But um, as always, check out the Final Fantasy Forum. Super awesome, and the more people we get, the more it becomes a... Uh, Bigger, a bigger community where we have more content, more discussion, and just more of the community feel to it. Uh, that will be linked below. And again, as always, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. See you later.